What's up, YouTube? Spook Show Lucky here, guys, today with another Horror Halls and Hunts video. Uh, I was out and about today, handing out some flyers, doing some different things for the haunted attraction, trying to get some business going. And I went by a couple thrift shops, and I also got a few things in the mail. So, we're going to kind of quickly go through what I've received today, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. And uh, here we go. First thing in was the Friday the 13th NECA Ultimate, a new beginning. As you can see... He's in there. One of the things that I hate, though, is this box is kind of bent on the back. I hate it when they send those things in, like, media mail and mess them up. That really sucks. I went by a thrift shop today, and I kind of told you guys that I was going to be looking into some more of the VHS stuff, so I found Leatherface Part 3. And, uh, yeah, VHS. The box is in pretty decent shape. Being at VHS, there's a small little tear up here, but, hey, it'll look cool there. And, obviously, Leatherface and Texas Chainsaw Massacre is... What I've always said is my favorite, so can't complain too much there. And I think it was like 25 cents. So, uh, Also, uh, in the mail call, we got a still book copy of The Ring. And this one was used. And then all of these are brand new. Got these from Amazon. Got Legend in, the Blu-ray copy. Nosferatu, Blu-ray copy. The Strangers, because I didn't have it on Blu-ray. Also, The Strangers Pray at Night, the unrated edition Blu-ray copy. It comes with a slip cover. Real nice. Uh, this is a really weird movie, Carnage Park. Uh, I didn't get to finish watching this. My wife put it on real late one night. It also has a slip cover. She said it's pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't seen this, check it out. Also, the collector's edition of John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness. This one's not opened. And has the slip cover as well. And then House on Willow Street. Blu-ray copy. Uh, now the coolest thing I think that I went out and found today was uh, I was at a thrift shop. They had these things marked a little differently. I think they had them marked like 30 bucks a piece. Uh, but I ended up talking them down. Got them to call the person who was selling them. And they actually sold them to me for a way better deal. So I think I spent like 50 bucks on all of them which was really cool so it's uh universal studios monsters but it's hasbro signature series and on the back it says kenner toys now you can tell somebody had these out and was displaying them before because they're not they're moving around in the box obviously they were supposed to be strapped down but this is the mummy and you can see him and i will probably pull these out as well i don't know i might keep them in the box like this because you can kind of stand them up and they look all right uh so i got the mummy then i got Wolfman, see him in the box there. Pretty good sculpt on him uh, as well. And these these really remind me of Sideshow Collectibles. They're about the same size. And uh, the clothing and all that good stuff that's in there. And then Frankenstein. So I like these little guys. These were worth picking up. There was a pretty cool little score, uh, especially for like 50 bucks, like I said. Um, they're all matching boxes. So I don't know what other monsters were in this series um but i'm gonna do a little more research on them and try to find out so guys that was it for today i really appreciate you guys watching make sure you like and subscribe give the video a thumbs up if you like the finds and we will catch you next time